guys welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is having a great fantastic covid free day if you haven't already subscribed hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification give this video a thumbs up and let's get straight into the video so i remember my last well one of my old videos y'all was like we like when you talk into the camera like just talk into the camera so it is currently 7 57 in the morning my baby woke me the fuck up at 5 51 on the dot in the morning just to tell me he loves me he's such a sweetheart and he woke me up though like now i can't go back to sleep or whatever so um i'm just up y'all so let me tell you about my hair let me let me, you see this hair y'all see this hair shorty did a pre-poo last night i was somebody's grandmother by nine o'clock <laughs> So I was just like, you know what? We're going to pre-poo tonight. I used, um, do I still have it? Let me see if I still have it. I used coconut oil. Okay, I do still have it. Let me show y'all what I use. So to pre-poo, I mixed this, the deep conditioner. Hold on, y'all. To pre-poo, I mixed this um, Olive Miracle anti breakage formula deep um deep conditioner treatment with raw coconut oil and this um let me show y'all hold on and i mixed this java hot oil treatment sure you went to bed i was knocked y'all i was knocked for the gods like sleep sleep with the pre pool so Today, I'm going to wash my hair. I'm going to, you know, wash it real good. Fanta is coming over tomorrow, Sunday. Um, she's going to come over tomorrow to braid my hair because your girl is going to do a lace front. Your girl has been watching the lace front videos. Y'all, I'm trying to, you know, I've been saying I'm on this journey to expand the content on my page as far as my personal and i feel like the light over here is a little better but on my page and what i bring you guys and the real and the raw because y'all like the real and the raw so shorty got a lace front let me show y'all let me show y'all let me wait girl girl wait i'm gonna show you the lace front so this is the lace shorty got the lace right it's a cute little bob situation situation i don't know for some reason lately i cannot say the word situation like i've been squabbling to say it but she got a little bob a little low see a little lace right there so i got this um this bond glue or whatever for the the front part i got the the little eyebrow razor thingy i got the um the scarf i got the anti-freeze whatever the gots to be that all the girls be using in the videos and i accidentally bought two but i bought this um what is it foam moisturizer leaves your hair bouncy or whatever i bought this because i couldn't find mousse at first and then i meant to put that to the side but then i bought mousse as well because you know you gotta lay down the hair and you gotta lay down the baby edges the baby edges them baby hairs and i bought a wig cap so y'all i'm so excited to expand the content on my page and give this lace for a, a try because i feel like during corona i don't know if y'all felt the same way but when them hair salons was closed it forced us to like kind of figure it out and i did not know what to do with my hair and i was looking around with this bad wig and i was just looking real tacky jackie so i was like you know what i'm gonna teach myself how to do a lace front because i want to be able to have variety and i don't want to have to pay a hundred and something dollars every time i want to do my hair when i want to switch my hair i want to be able to switch my hair you know i'm a black girl and i like to have a little fun so that's that that's gonna be in another video where i show you guys how i apply the lace for the first time y'all are my y'all know i love y'all y'all be leaving me the real real true tea so if i mess up if i do anything wrong let me know because y'all know just like the makeup just like the lashes it's gonna be an evolution and we probably gonna start from the bottom together and y'all gonna be like girl you are here slaying the wigs hopefully in the next 
two months, if not this first try goes good. I already been like looking at lace fronts as if I'm a pro already. You know, I'm already trying to build my little collection or whatever. And I'm like, girl, stop with your wig. Like, stop with your little, your little beauty supply, girl. So, I got me a little cute little beauty. So I went to the beauty supply store in Harlem on 125th. I should have recorded it, but I didn't. Um, on 125th. I went there, and I really like that beauty supply. Like, if you ever in Harlem, and it's across the street from H&M, that, that feel beauty, girl, they got nice staff in there, always got the supplies, and the price is really not that bad. I paid $35 for that wig, and I think it looks pretty good. It's straight, you know, a little, it's called the everyday wig, or, hold on, let me get the name of it for y'all. I'm probably sharing too much tea right now, but it's called the every everywhere yeah everywhere lace front wig and this is how it's supposed to like i got the black one of course so i feel like it's like a cute every day because you know bitches be trying to go hard on their first lace front and i just ain't little con i ain't that confident yet so i was like i'm gonna get something straight and simple um and you know you know just keep it cute keep it cute keep it mute so, I got that video coming for you guys. Um, Today, I'm undecided if I want to go get my nails done or not. I'm very undecided. But, I have good, well, fun news. I hope I'm kind of going to try to film. I don't know yet. But, if you guys are in the New York area, there's this place called Kings County... Is it distillery? I think it is. It's in Brooklyn, Brooklyn Navy Yard, I believe. And I found this whiskey class, y'all, that's free. F-R-E-E. -E. The whiskey class is free, but you just pay for the flight. I think that's how you say it because, you know, you guys are trying to educate yourself. Um, you pay for the flight, which is $18 for three and $32 for six. The five, I'm sorry. $32 for five. So I I told my boo, I'm like, you want to go to Sip and Paint? Because we're going to go to Sip and Paint or whiskey. And he wants to do whiskey. So we're doing whiskey next Saturday. And I think I'm going to film it. I'm not going to film him because he's really, really shy. But I still want to film the whole experience. I'm going to try to film the whole experience. Um, But let's see because I'm kind of living the moment kind of girl. But uh, I think it's going to be fun. And we're going to try different whiskey. And they have moonshine. Like, I don't know if y'all ever heard of moonshine. Y'all ever heard of moonshine? Uh, it's like that old school shit from like the south or whatever. They got a virgin of it in Brooklyn, y'all. So, my grandmother over here talking about you gonna be on your ass, like <laughs> drinking that moonshine. Play with that moonshine if you want to, girl. And I'm like, but everybody always talk about it. Like, y'all always talk about it and they got it in Brooklyn. And she's just like, yeah, play with that shit if you want to, basically. So, like, the camera just straight disrespected me and like cut off. But I hope that um, it tastes good. If it don't, it's whatever. It's just going to be for an experience. And if y'all don't know, flights are like the little sample size. So we're going to try the sample size and then we could go to the bar and we could buy um, things after. And it's in the garden. It's in the backyard. So we'll be outside due to COVID-19. Um yeah, it's cool. I'm going to add the, the stuff down below if you guys are ever in New York. Or if you're from New York and you want to try it, I think it's going to be fun. Um, I think it's going to be cool. I think it's a good idea to do something, especially during COVID, since we can't really go out, go out. It'll be something different. He likes alcohol. I like classy shit or whatever. So I feel like that meets in the middle versus us going to the liquor store and just buying whiskey. We could go to class and learn about it. And y'all know I'm like into history and shit like that so that is really my thing so in today and today during today i'm hoping i really want to clean up i really want to clean the house um and my house looks a mess like but next week the cleaning lady is coming so i'm not doing too too much but you know i just want to freshen the crib up oh also i went to bath and body works hold on y'all hold on y'all hold on y'all <laughs> your girl went to bath and body works she finessed her niggas to get her some money okay I did finesse him, y'all, because I called him when I found out Bath and Body Works is having buy one get one free, right? So I'm like, he sent me money on Wednesday and it was Friday. And I'm like, babe, like, you don't want to send me money for a candle? Like, it's buy one get one free. And he's like, girl, didn't I just send you money on Wednesday? And I'm like, but today is candle day. Like, and he ended up sending me the money. So I'm a brat, but let me show y'all.
y'all yeah that's what i'm doing today normal typical saturday we're gonna clean because we need to clean not too much because like i said the clean lady is coming next week um we are going to burn some candles we are going to watch some movies and we're just gonna have a self-love day a self-care day maybe tomorrow morning i'll get up and go get my nails done but other than that um i think on halloween i'm going to the spa as well because y'all let's listen, listen right i had a whole breakdown y'all tell me that we having breakdowns like this too but I had looked at my finances, right? And I pay my bills and my credit score is going up. Everything is good. But I did absolutely nothing for me. Within this last COVID-19 couple of months, my focus has literally been on making sure my bills get paid. Making sure everything is aligned. Because when things closed, like when um, I was paying off my furniture, as y'all know, um, when that closed, I had to pay, like, you know, you had to pay the back months. And I was just catching up on bills. So I realized... What was it like last week or something like that? I was like, oh, um, you know, me and babe was like, we're gonna do sipping paint. We're usually like a 50 50 or one, like, how do I explain? We either do 50 50 or let's say he'll treat me to the candles, I'll treat him to the whiskey. He'll treat me to this, I'll do that. Well, like, we're, we're 50 50. We're pretty good at that. Like, I enjoy it. I feel like as a woman that works, I like to put my my part in so in a sense it works for me if it doesn't work for you that's okay you know that's fine but for me it makes me feel good you know to contribute i don't know but nonetheless my point was i was looking at my bills and i was just paying bills paying bills paying bills and i called him and i was like you know we're gonna i'm gonna live he lives like he goes out he has friends he balances bills and like i just build bills 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 so i was like you know what i need some balance like i need to do something for me so that's why he was like let's do the whiskey class i'm like yes something for me something i want to do um i want to do sipping paint i want to do that again i found a place that's open he's not really into that so i'm kind of gonna like invite my aunt but um we also said we're gonna go to the spa on halloween like we're just trying to do what i'm i'm saying me because it's really me i'm trying to do more things for me so my point is ladies do not forget about yourself do not get caught up in these bills and life like the fucking bill collector can wait unless your shit is on like termination listen i have to develop the attitude like this you gonna get paid when you gonna get paid and not that i'm not gonna pay on time i don't think that's what i'm going for but y'all know what i mean like you just put so much into bills 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 that you just don't do anything for yourself like i really haven't bought anything much for myself i haven't done anything i haven't gone anywhere um so the whiskey class to me is like the beginning of okay you got, like i said i got my credit score back and it went up and it was like you decreased your balance by this much that, no, I'm sorry, that, hundreds of dollars and you doing this and you're on track. So I'm like, you know what? I'm on track. It is not that I don't want to get off track, but self-care is very just as important, just as important as paying bills on time, if that makes sense. I hope I make sense, right? Because I feel like I have an older audience, so y'all be understanding what I'm saying. But um, self-care is just as important. So do something nice for yourself. Like you don't got to spend a million dollars. Like I said, this whiskey class is free, y'all free they're gonna teach us all about the whiskey all about where it come from how to make it all of that it is free but we just got to pay for the the little samples and the, you know if we want to buy some punch or something but find something affordable and just get out like don't forget to do something for you whether it's go to the spa whether it's go for a walk whether it's have sex whatever it is that makes you happy like for real don't forget to do it and don't forget to balance because i feel like that's what i did i forgot to balance i was just obsessed obsessed with bills but nonetheless y'all i think i'm gonna wrap this up i don't know what i'm gonna call it i feel like i talked enough i gave you guys enough juice enough content i don't know if you guys want to watch me wash my hair i'm pretty sure you don't because i have videos on that already on me washing my hair but i will definitely film the lace i'm definitely filming the lace good or bad we gonna laugh together y'all we gonna grow together we gonna learn together like we've been doing on this channel so i hope to give you guys good content with that um what else can i say i don't know but i'm sending you guys lots of light love positivity comment down below